All right, bloggers, it is time for a full WordPress Gutenberg tutorial. Step by step, if you were creating a blog post, I want to walk you through the process of adding blocks, taking away blocks, moving blocks, different fancier blocks. We'll go through it all. The first five minutes of this video are going to be like you're just creating a normal blog post, the most essential blocks that everybody is probably going to use. After that, we'll dive into a little bit more of the fancier ones, how to uh, just construct some well, custom blocks, HTML, that sort of stuff. We'll get into it. So I just click post, add new. This is what it brings up by default. Add title, add text or type to add content. Content title, so let's add a title. This is an amazing post. Okay, right off the bat, this is going to change in future ver versions of Gutenberg, excuse me, but right now you have to click on this and hover up here. You have to click around, I can't even, there we go, permalinks. So this is a cool little feature, copy the permalink. You used to have to like right click this and go to copy. Now you can just click this and boom, it's copied. This is about to get another button called edit. It doesn't have it yet. WordPress is adding this in the future, they say, in which you will be able to change the permalink. Right now, if you click change permalinks, by the way, it'll actually take you to the settings. This is not what I'm looking for. I just wanna change this permalink. Right now, I can't do that. Right now, I can't do that. They're gonna add an edit button right here where you can edit it and then you can type in like you're used to. Okay, got it. So there's the H1 tag, our title, our WordPress title. Let's move on. Again, I showed you this already, but if you just start typing paragraphs and hit enter, it'll start a new block automatically. You can just kind of write. Like you can get into the flow of writing a blog post. It's not that hard. WordPress Gutenberg isn't that hard. See, I told you so. So that was really intuitive. I'm just like Henny enter, but it's creating these blocks automatically, which I can edit later if I want to. So text blocks, easy, right? You don't even need to really click add, although you certainly can go up here and add a paragraph. Again, it sorts it by most used. They're fancy inline elements, common blocks, formatting, widgets, embeds, reusable, lots of other blocks down there, but the most essential ones right up here, paragraphs, headings, images, an intro. I, that's a custom one that I saved. We'll get to that in a minute maybe some embeds, a list, right? A numbered list or a bullet point list or whatever. Coach them HTML quote. That's all right here. You can click paragraph or you could just, you know, get into the flow of writing and hit enter. So let's go with images because I think really there's not much more to be said about paragraphs. Let's go with images. You can click right here and do an image. It'll just bring up like a little placeholder. You can go to your media library and just choose one. Like here's a beautiful picture of me. Now nah, let's go with my kids, <laughs> not me. Sorry, uh, select, it'll add it in there. Okay, a few different things you'll see right off the bat. There are image settings over here, like you would normally click edit right here and get there. Now, all those settings are right over here. I can change the size, I could change the width, 25, 100%, 75%, 50%, 50%, pretty cool. Hit reset, link to, I don't wanna link to any URLs, but I could put it in there, you know. The stuff you're used to, alt text, Pete's kids, oops, Pete's, kids. In this though, you have a few more settings. Here is your center align, left align, right align. You probably already know what those do. Center. Uh, you can write your caption underneath here. You can see where it says write caption. Pete's kids. I can bold, italic, link it, strike through. It's actually pretty cool. You can also resize the image by these little things. These are a little bit more common and prevalent than they were uh, in the last editor. So that's pretty handy right here. Another cool thing you can do is for bigger images, like let's add one more up here. Let's see, drag it around here. Let's add this one above that one. Oh, it put it in below. Okay, never mind. Let's come in here. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get a new block. Let's go hover over this. Not very intuitive here, WordPress Gutenberg. I'm trying to add another block. Where is the button? Okay, it's not working. You can see already, like this is not quite polished yet. The user experience is actually quite bad, in my opinion. How do I get rid of that? Delete. Let's add a new block. Add a new block, image. All right, here we go, sorry. I'm gonna drag it onto there. There we go, we got it now. Except it looks funny because it's overhanging. Again, this is bugginess. I can't seem to get rid of it. So sorry guys, but this is what comes with making a video about a software that's not released yet. It's buggy as crap. I can't, I wanna add in another block underneath that. And right now I cannot figure out how. Hmm, I'm sorry to do that. So in general, sorry, there we go. There we go. See, we got a nice little block, image block here. I don't know why this one didn't work. Kind of funky. 
it's a little rough. <laughs> it's a little rough right now. You guys can see this. How can I? There we go. Now we go. This is more. Ooh, sorry about that, people watching on YouTube or whatnot, but I think that's also important to show you. I'm not going to edit that out. It's an interesting little adventure into Gutenberg. It's not intuitive <laughs> right now. It's kind of hard, actually, as you can see. But good to go through nonetheless. So, again, with the blank block, I could do this. Let's talk about headings. Again, you can add it in a few different ways. First of all, you could actually just write it out. This is supposed to be an H2. Heading. All right. I'm going to click this up here. Again, you can change normal paragraph settings, like right here in the toolbar. But if I click this, I can change it to a heading right there. H2, H3, H4. I'm going to do H2. Again, I can align it into the center over here. I can choose custom uh, CSS, HTML anchors. Maybe we'll talk about that later. Maybe not. Don't know. Uh, but that's one way to add it. You can also just come in down here. Let's say I want this. I'm going to add another heading right here. All right. H3. This is an H3 tag. And then, oh, I got to move that up a little bit. Move that up right there. Can't drag and drop yet. Sorry. <laughs> so what have we got so far? Headers, paragraphs, images, which are a little bit difficult to finagle at the moment. You can see I'm hovering over this. Where's my move block? You can see it's kind of up here and I'm having a hard time clicking on it. I don't know what's going on with that. It's Gutenberg being a little bit buggy. To be completely honest with you, that's exactly what it is. Let's try adding a YouTube embed, just for the fun of it, really quick. I got a, a YouTube video right here, Pete's marketing hit list. I'm just gonna do that and hit enter. Gutenberg did that pretty good, automatically. Again, I can write a caption for it. I can, What's up, bloggers? Pete that was weird. I can move it around, write a line, center line, etc., etc. Okay, embeds, pretty easy. That's pretty much like it was with the old editor. Now let's go through my favorite and least favorite thing that I really want to talk about and that is custom HTML. Right now, this is a paragraph. You can see I'm trying to type this out so we can stay organized. I want to add in some custom HTML. Did we move it? miss anything else? Oh, let's do a really quote and then we'll go HTML. This is a quote and now you can add a citation. Um, WordPress, no, let's just do Pete, okay. One cool thing about this is that you can actually switch around what type of quote it is. Ah, here we go. Block styles. You see that? Why couldn't I do it with this one? Click over here. Ah, there we go. I clicked on this. This is block styles. I can do a large quote or a regular quote. That's pretty handy. And it shows me a little preview over here on the right side. A lot of blocks have this functionality. Not a lot. Some blocks have this functionality. That's pretty nice. Let's delete this one. Come over here, remove block. This is a quote, it's a nice big quote. That looks kind of nice. Let's add in another paragraph right here. Where is my, there we go. This is a paragraph, placeholder, it's kind of annoying. Now let's go with some HTML custom coding right here. So images, a little bit funky at the moment, but we know how to add them. Headings, same sort of stuff. Embeds, you can do this by the way, and actually put in the embed URL or if it's like Vimeo or YouTube, something fairly standard like that, you can just paste in like you always could. Let's go down here, add a custom HTML. Custom HTML, there we go. So you can actually toggle back and forth between the HTML and the preview. If you're like me, I used to do a little table of contents sort of stuff, and I would actually enter this table of contents. Now I can actually type out what's in there. It's a little bit annoying, you could, on the other hand, come back into your paragraph right here. Let's say I was gonna do this. This is a table of contents. Let's say I wanted to do this, make it a list. That's even better, let's add a list. I'm gonna add a list right here. I could do number list, I can do bullets. I could make it right align, left align, some different stuff. Point one, point two, oops, point three, whatever. You get it, right? You get the point. <laughs> See what I did? Uh, okay, so I could actually come in here and edit as HTML. Now I got this, I'm gonna add my div, class equals table of, uh, table of contents, and add the div at the end. There, now I got that. Come back over here, edit visually, modify it externally, convert to blocks, keep as HTML. Okay, so you'll see what happened right there. This is important. I added a paragraph, I went in here and 
<laughs> updated the HTML, and it converted the block into an HTML block. That could be good or bad, depending. I actually think this is horrible. I don't like that. I wish, I know I want the, you know, there we go, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. I want to be able to keep it as a paragraph block and simple, simply edit the HTML like I always do. I can't do that. It actually converted into a block. I might can go back and undo that, but I don't know. Can I? I'm pressing undo. I'm not sure. It's a little bit annoying. As I go through the rest of my post, I can't actually just see that content. Now I see HTML, which by the way, when I preview, I'm going to save here. It'll actually show me. I don't have that class defined, by the way, for those of you wondering. It'll just be normal. I don't have table of contents defined on this sp uh, particular WordPress site, but it would be different right there. But it's kind of annoying to come through here and see it as this. You can leave it as preview, uh, but it's just it's just not the same. Okay, it converted it into a different block. I can actually convert back, now that I think about it, convert two blocks. Now it is a list block. Again, if I come in here, edit as HTML, that's gone. I lost it. I don't know what to do about that other than leave it as a HTML block. That's all I really got <laughs> at this point. So it's a little annoying to be quite frank, but that is the way it is. And you can actually do that on pretty much all blocks. You can edit as HTML. Let's see what happens here. This is a quote, edit as HTML. I'm gonna put in just a fake class, block quote class, bleh, sorry, fake class. Okay, and let's see what happens. Go back to edit visually and okay. That one, I don't know why, but that one just remains. Let's see if my edit is still there. HTML, nope, it deleted it. Oh no, it's right there, fake class, got it. Boom, so that is how you edit HTML on all these blocks. Edit visually, edit HTML. A lot of times it'll try to convert a paragraph or a list or whatever to an HTML block. It's a different type of block. It's a little bit annoying in my opinion, but alas. So I think that's most of the basic stuff.